pieces. They're looking at them now. Yeah, no, it's special. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> I don't know why I'm watching this. I need to get my entire copy of pasta of the Uwu back. Oh, well, what are we always? Yeah. See if I have it pinned. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> they're gonna have, dude. They're gonna have a Magrow moment where they're like, "No, you can't just say that." Except this time, there's no like Don. Actually, no. Just say it's from Don War. Easy. I want to live. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's so like uh, vast and like indecipherable. You can just use it as a fallback for everything. It's amazing. Still nobody. <laughs> mm, gotcha. So do you I switch still have the stream over to the map room or? Okay, so do you just switch uh, windows when you do it? Gotcha. Three minutes until the official time. We was made for casting, honest. This could be huge. All right, just let me know when you fire it up, because, you know. <laughs> get, it out, get it out of your system before we start the broadcast. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to say it. No, wait, you can't do that. It's already been 20 minutes. Oh, yeah, sure enough. That Quirio moment when you need to have fucking like clocks, like all the international clocks on your wall. 
Uh, true. And this queue is taking awfully long. This level <laughs> fucking queue right here. Someone fix this. Someone fix search times. Even in comp, you can't escape the matchmaking times. Yeah, no, 100%, dude. You just put it, put it up in, like, the top left corner whenever you're sitting around waiting for someone to join lobby. Huge BM. No, you just keep encouraging violence online. <laughs> yes, I do. How could you tell? <laughs> no, thanks for noticing. We're being late again. Finally. Oh. Wait, yes. wait, you can't do that. <laughs> wait, no! It's, it's already happening, I'm sorry. No! Alright, hello to the boys. That shut waiting. it down, shut it down. I had to wait a little extra because uh, unnamed captain from team number one, DPS Lady of the Tramps, refused to join the lobby in time. But at least the boys from 42 decided to join just in time. They were actually like five minutes before here. But anyway, uh, well, that was like the most weird introduction for this. Uh, I am Mr. Konglord and I got uh, the Dex and Sep combo here to have fun. Uh, it's my cast, Pog. Yes. My man, it's my man, it's, it's my man. It's the hoop, Oops cast. Uh, it, it has made its uh, return once again. It's time for that. Uh, but anyway, we got, the, as I said already, like it's uh, DPS uh, team number two called Lady and Tramps against 42. I actually don't know what. Wait a minute. I think I changed the title. No, no, I didn't change the title uh, yesterday. Well, well, like I thought. This game was supposed to be yesterday's, so I already prepared like yesterday for this. But I have no idea what division this is. I think it's C, just guessing. Because I know DPS team number one is B, and I just presume the team number two is like a little below. So let's just say it's Div C. But anyway, week two, 
Week two, let me take up the rules. We got them mining collectives for drop one, then we gonna play some canyon network and finally power highlands and then this is ISC six versus six, inner sphere max only. Some limits to your uh, max, I think, off the top of my head. It's uh, one yeah, hero it's like per three drop. max. Yeah, one hero per drop, uh, maximum. But I think you can reuse heroes. But uh, chassis are restricted to like maximum three per set. You can bring multiples of them in one drop if you like. For example, last drop you can bring your three annihilators, sure. But that requires you not to use annihilators before this. Or for example, first drop in the in the set you can bring like three fire starters, but that means no more fire starters for you later on. Uh, yeah. Confirming this is Div C, yeah. Affirmative. Uh fire at will. Uh team one's locked already. Uh, yes, just checking that I'm in the correct scene. Excellent. And yes, uh, everything's fine, I think. Everything's fine. But anyway, drop one, I think it's 250 tons. Drop two, 360, and drop, drop two, drop oh, two and off. three. Ah, excellent. Okay, let's just get this going. So this drop is 250 tons. And uh, the upcoming two drops will be 360, and the final two will be 420. Anyway, let's go. Let's see what's up. I do collective. Start very quickly with the lobby procedure, so we're not gonna go into map strats, instead we're gonna watch the game. Watch the game and see what's up. There's actually a petition out right now to rename this to the SPL drop. Uh, uh you forgot MGs, heavy MGs. Ah yes, HMG SPL drop. Yeah, yeah. about that, uh, SPL is probably like the most common thing you're gonna encounter in this first drop. You might, since it's mining, you might see some heavy goose mechs also, like Thanatos, if they decide to do this. Uh, and most likely heavy machine gun javelins might make appearance, except that they don't. And 42 actually brought a big one, uh, Cataphract 3D, but that's probably not heavy goose. Just gonna check that first, wait a minute, I just crossed on the wrong side. There we go. Interested in seeing what did, that has, LBs and light BP. Yeah. Oh, it's all of them. Your so EPS is just SPL and MPL. Yes, of course. SPL and Phoenix Hawk and Fire Starters, and then two MPL Vindicators brought into this drop. Yeah, we saw we saw them used here before. Quite a uh, quite a few SRMX on UAV going up for DPS, hiding behind the little oh, yeah, building. Yeah, oh, they got all of them already in middle. That's pretty good considering. Red team has like a couple still far away. Oh, Glenn Jamlin, getting Jamlin some percent. Yeah, we, we, we got some, hit some hits out. I, 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 85% already. DPS is 94, is like their lowest, so that's like nothing. Here we go. The skirmish started really quickly. Now just shoot each other. So strikes going out. Building just in case you don't drop it off. Yeah, it's almost open in his legs. I was like really pushing, except that okay, never mind. Flint's going in. Sixty-five percent javelin. That is, he's hurting a lot. Sixty percent, but he's still green. Like, Ooh, awesome! The vindicator is sort of yeah. on the ground. Oh, yeah. pretty sure the javelin's dead though. Yeah, yeah javelin legs mega low. I think whoever's yeah. chasing is gonna get him like right now. Awesome there guys, it goes, it's yeah. in a bad spot. He's probably gonna die next. On oh, their mind, just double kill. Or DPS. Vindicator's gonna go down on the DPS side though, so it's gonna be... You see it's taking them an absolute eternity to kill that Vindicator though. Yeah, he is... I think he's, yeah, he, he was shielding, he was showing the left leg, so that's why, and also he was on high ground. Oh, that didn't go well for 42. DPS just destroys them. Well, you gotta remember that Vindicators are bringing what is practically heavy mech armor. On yeah. a 45 counter. Yeah, and they failed to like finish it with that leg. They got the left leg, and but then it started to shield with the left leg, and then right leg was never like brought down. <laughs> Thanks so much. But yeah, it is over for 42 now. 
Yeah. There we go. Was quick. Uh, reds did capture a point, so this is gonna take a little bit since uh, blue team's points need to catch up before the game ends. Awesome guys. Ooh. Almost got like rear core too. That was probably because I was alive for so long, had to twist away. They sometimes like hit like the crotch instead of the leg. Um, there's some medium poles brought by the red team. Kind of living in the past, honestly. Medium poles was like uh, last year's thing, since you know. Yeah. It got slightly nerfed, but uh, that that doesn't really matter well, as far as the weapon goes. But on the other hand, small pulls look got like giga buffed. Cauldron man. Yeah, cauldron bros. I I don't know. You could see the javelin and the fire started push up a bit early, but I kind of feel like DPS could have just killed them at any point in that match whenever they wanted to. Next one, canyon. Yes. There we go. But hey, hey, we pulled our quickly. Uh, utilize map strats. Let's see, let's see. Mining collectives here, so. A1, team, team 1, uh, blue color, they just entered this wall here. Team 2, someone took Sigma and they took this corner and eventually it started happening over there. And then it was just like a night fight, and I yeah. feel like this was a mech And team victory. chased after the Vindicator that fell on the right side, then their javelin just ran through their entire team, was gaining it up. <laughs> yeah. yeah, you can see 42 just trickling behind them and get ripped up in there. Yeah, yeah, but uh, I feel like this was more of a mech lab victory for DPS, considering what happened in the actual battle yeah. here. It was always like 100 to 150 meters, so small pulse lasers, optimal range right there. I mean, maybe they could have done more with the cataphrag, but they needed to play behind it and let it use range. Yeah, yeah. Instead yeah. of like getting eaten up. Well, or javelin or, at this or let's, let's pretend like the fight will still happen here. If the cataphrag was on like cakes, and also the medium pulsers would have stayed like here. Then they could have like uh, pulled a little bit of range, and also that would have allowed for some kites. So when DPS starts NSRing one of those, then like the other side follows, and the other like runs away. Well, and also tying into what you said about mech lab loss before, like if you're gonna bring a heavy mech and sack other tonnage to do that, it better be a fucking great mech and a good pilot in it that can just insta kill the enemy team. It works really good, dude. I think the build was okay, and with, well, real like DP is like the click damage is fairly low, okay, but uh, it's uh, good DPS, and it was probably pumped with heatsink, so technically it would have pumped, but it also got focused first really fast because it kind of was like too close into the fight. Uh, we've seen this uh, like, uh, uh, well, well, like uh, some, let's call it like a, Big click uh, mech in like a light drop. Uh, was it Blood League or well, well some? I'll uh, see us. Uh, well, no, I, I mean, sorry, I mean that uh, there was like some tournament before where there was also a tonnage limited first drop, and some people decided to bring like Vapor Eagles with LBX PPC, and how they played that was that they didn't go into the brawl range; they instead stayed like four hundred away. So they like didn't get removed immediately from the fight. That's what I'm saying. Mm, gotcha. But anyway, drop one's always quite a bit of like NSR fest, so not much tactics to that. Just more like mech lab and execution. But Canyon's gonna be next. Canyon, Canyon Bros. We had this one as our first drop last week was NSR all around. <laughs> Everyone just NSR, <laughs> of course, but this time there's some tons in into the deck, so we're probably gonna see like more traditional play 
that we got a couple traders and then the light packs trying to do like some sniping stuff. I'm, I don't mean like sniping from long range, but like trying to snipe enemy mechs. That's what I mean. Still can see a brawl. Yes, yes, and we will map strat this too. Uh, like, uh, well, week one, the most common thing that happened, well, it was also the light drop, was that team one NSR's here and the fights always happen here. That's it. But now, uh, well, oh, hold on, we got the wrong canyon. No, never mind, we got the correct canyon. Also, keep in mind that uh, home caps are not allowed to be flipped. A so called free cap conquest. I'm almost but, wondering. Oh, huh? sorry. Yes, what? what? Sure. I was gonna say, I'm almost wondering if you see someone go like uh, like D3 area. Uh, D3. And try to hold Kappa Theta from D3. Uh, like those spires up top. Sure, but uh, I feel like caps are not that important in ISC because it's 15 minute timer with th three caps only. Uh, so, well, well, of course, holding two. Is what you have to do, but uh, you shouldn't really worry about uh, caps. But V3, on like uh, on the other hand, it is a okay spot, but it has the problem that it's easy to NSR. Like uh, if people come from here, it's already too late for you or here. Instead, if you want to have someone over there, uh, actually use the correct colors. Two for team one. Uh, this is a good trade spot for team one. If you want to have someone on that side, of course, there, there you got the radio, this wall ridge, there's a spot, one trade spots, team two, like here, here, here. Both teams are locked. Yes, yes, yes. Let's start. Starting, and uh, just quickly point out trade spots for the people that don't. Or it could just be a five line out of SR. Looks like, looks like this mostly, but uh, if NSR is going to happen, it's either from here, the middle canyon, uh, from, or team one, or from Epsilon side. But anyway, we're, so let's watch the game. Bam, bam. You might see some Kappa action if they go map control, most likely. Like, now, now let's see. Is anyone gonna get uh, home? Probably never mind that. Oh, hold, 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 bros. Oh, sir, okay. we must hold, hold the Rubik source. Will they redrop? You the needful. Uh, I I don't know the redrop rules though. So, uh, dropped an illegal. Man. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> Land bros. <laughs> well, that, uh, I think that's just a redrop, right? Uh. uh I think this might be something more serious than redrop. Let's see. Uh. Ah, okay. Like they've decided to mediate their differences with bloodshed. See what they want, because uh, the rules do state that if an opponent brings an, an ineligible mech, they forfeit that drop and the other teams avoid the win regardless of outcome. Three drop instead. I feel like they will feel bummed. I <laughs> pink score from DPS. So easy close. Yeah, DPS bros. We destroyed them in like two seconds. But anyway, yeah. So let's just pretend that didn't happen. Rules do state that. They are supposed to forfeit, but I feel like, well, I'm, I'm not the janitor here, so uh, 
så blev det admin spot. Well, if, this if, if, if any admins are watching, we have decided that we just ignore that incident and redrop without the clan man. <laughs> Kind of a yikes moment. Uh, please. Uh, oh, yeah, of course, yeah, of course, they have to swap like the clan. Like, I was wondering what's taking them so long, but there we go. And that's just two more. Okay, let's go. One more time. Hey, baby, one more time. For real this time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay, here we go. Uh, we'll have to throw his Arctic Wolf into the, the Terra Therma volcano. Yeah. Well, uh, I, I think they meant said something that are gonna throw me out of the airlock or something like that in the lobby chat. Okay. Kind of okay, Flynn, it's an assassin this time. Okay. No more octopus. Yeah, well. Deck seems nice. Triple Victor. Let's go. Triple Victor. Not Arctic Wolf. This room's Cicada Bros. Yeah, we're, we're in. Oh, it's a long range. Oh, by long, not your long range. Medium range Cicada. Not medium pulse, instead using ER mediums. But what the hell, it's slow. Look at that. Um, DBS side, we have an SPL Firestarter, SPL Phoenix Hawk, two MPL Vulcan 5Ts, and then two ear large grasshoppers, and the AC-10 light PPC Annie. Oh, even though, like, Just three AC-10s and three peeps for some reason. Vul Vulcan is here still, even though, like, SPL's, like, pretty much the meta right now. Good to see yeah. Vulcan still. Awesome. Harassing going into the middle point. Well, that's, like, one person damage, but still. Ah, oh, they, they, they did get that cap. Good job. DPS. That hasn't taken a lot of free damage, oh. it looks like. Then bros, what happened? Wonder what cl oh, the, uh, it, it this looks like ER large, yeah. They're more uh, ER large hoppers. Yeah. Damn it seems quite a little spread. Okay, so Reds decided to do some East side rotation from Epsilon side. Looks like they wanna just do the five line push, but Yeah, I think they like okay, Shaman should like yeah, keep going, keep going, sir. And uh, if they, well, uh, let's see the Annie. I didn't see the Annie yet. AC-10 light PPC. Okay, that's a pretty good wall against 42. And <laughs> the answer to the Victor push, if you get my pun. Haha, <laughs> but anyway, here we go. Victor's been spotted. Most likely second Victor. Okay, second Victor's been spotted also. Oh, big damage on Prometheus here. Orange CT, Victor Bros, or CT, doesn't feel too good. And look at the map, by the way. Pay attention to the map. Incoming hostiles from both sides. This kid is gonna get obliterated. Yeah. Oh, yeah, he doesn't see this. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, oh, he... they didn't coordinate their backstab, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah but... Well, now they know, oh, so we're gonna have to see if I... the Annihilator can apply pressure in time. Reds are kind of boxed here, but uh, this Fire also means that really they hurt. can they can just collapse on one of these sides, and most likely gonna be the lights. Except that the victors are still holding low ground. Uh, those Fire are nearly on of armor on the side torso from that oh. backstab. Yeah, but one of those fire starters or one of those lights should have died from that. Oh well, get like really hurt. Mitsu did get. The assassin's open side torso now. Uh, he, he gotta hide a little. <laughs> and uh, I think this ain't looking too good for reds. They, there should have been some action already with this triple AC-10 victors. If they wait, well, 
I don't know what they can wait for because they don't have any caps and uh, like uh, since they don't have caps DPS has like no incentive to go over there they can just chill wait especially like uh, it's looking kind of bad because like DPS mechs excluding the fire starter are all pretty much fresh when we got this assassin for example here left torso open oh Victor has open CE and uh, also Cicada took some damage. Let me see, it's 77. Oh, Cicada is almost legged. Very close to being like That's really bad if you get legged in a like a medium laser Cicada. Or any medium laser, like a 400 meter optimal mech. Because <laughs> you're supposed to kite with your speed, but if you don't have a leg, you have no speed. It's over, dude. Yeah? Like DPS is getting aggressive here. Yeah, they got bored. I did say that they really don't have an incentive to push, but I mean, why not? They were leading. I think they understand that, which is why they're doing this right now. Oh, I love Annihilators getting a big click on the Assassin. CP open on it now. So he can like pretty much click him anywhere now and it's over for the Assassin. Is that Cicada lagged? I think he got light. Uh, yeah, yeah, he's light. Someone's UAV. Now he's almost CT. How oh, many years? Four UAVs above everyone. Oh, no idea who, who used which one of those, but there they are. It's like both teams. Yeah, I, DPS has taken almost no damage. Yeah. I think they're going to sail club yeah. him here. Steady trading going on, but yeah, as mentioned, DPS is probably going to take this judging by the health values. I feel like, like the 42 should have had like, dare I say it, like bigger balls in this drop. They played really passive. They're still like, you see this is like pretty passive gameplay right now. The grasshoppers for example, they came to like 400 meter range from the victors yet like no Nothing's happening, really. They're just trading. Oh, the well, and if you're gonna, gonna die. If you're gonna take AC-10 victors, then you probably want to be pushing with them. Yeah. Otherwise, oh. you just take, like, like Gossier peep. Prometheus got backshot a few times and then killed from the front. It was open CP, so, yeah. Stuff happens. And now it's just gonna be... Everyone's gonna die. Good. Uh, ER Lodge grasshoppers are in the brawl. <laughs> Let's go. Let's go. You know? Yeah, I'm sipping. I'm sipping. Two people left from 42. There goes that guy and Mr. Shade here. Open CT Vulcan. I think we're gonna die. Yeah. Rick? Be curious to see how much damage those grasshoppers did. Yeah, I feel like they pumped like both of oh, them. Oh, yeah, mega probably, farmed. Probably yeah. five or six hundred plus. Let's see. Let's see. Five hundred from one of them. Yeah, the other one was four thirty-three. Four thirty-seven. Yes. The victors didn't really end up doing a whole lot of anything. Yeah, it was really like slow. Actually, can you even call it slow if they didn't execute, really? But anyway, we can take a look at the map strats. This will also hopefully help bring some insight to the losing team also. And that they decide to take a look at the VOD case. Just gonna swap teams quickly. There we go. Swap the teams and... Uh, now let's look at the map strat. So DPS pros, grasshopper, grasshopper. Okay, cold use marker. Heavy. We have grasshopper markers. We do. Grasshopper, grasshopper. And let's use herbies as lights. Herbies, well, I'm just marking them there, but they kind of did like this. 
game, and the Wall Red team played around here, but never advanced past this like dotted line. This was like their their playground for the Wall game. And da -da 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 -da. you can see in the middle of the match trying to take the uh, side cap Epsi. Those victors lost a ton of armor. That's how the one of them ended up CT open. Yeah. Well, the Annie is now the King Crab, and. I, I think I did mention it during the game, but that, like, kind of walled uh, the red team by existing over there. It's just, like, Victor plus more armor plus better firepower. And then grasshoppers shooting blue lasers. So they, I feel like they, when they pick this corner with the Victors, they, uh, I, I think they, like, let's say, sharded their pants because... <laughs> Too scary, too scary. They see an Annie and Grasshoppers like too far for them. So they backed off and then they really didn't know what to do. But uh, EPS uh, mistake was what ha it happened here at the top when when the light pack decided to attack the Cicada. They didn't get him and they took a lot of damage while doing so. So they had to retreat. I think this was like the go sign. For the reds, either just go from here and eat dirt. Uh, but uh, I think the best choice would have been to just cross from here in the low ground or in the middle, use cover and then attack the enemy main force, like shooting whatever you see on the way. That way, I feel like they could have won. But yeah, if they had played been. aggressively in response to that, they probably could have killed one or two of those uh, lights that were behind them. Oh, yeah, and also. Uh, Make it so. There we go. We got the mind man. But uh, teams have been swapped, and we're gonna see what happens now. Since well, both of them are gonna play different sides. It's also kind of interesting. Go back to the map strats. Uh, kind of interesting that, like, so far, almost every single game, well, at least what I've witnessed in this ISC, <laughs> well, of course, like, a, uh, well, Canyon Drop 1, that's like, of course, it's just NSR, but it always happens on the east side of the map. Always. Never on this side. Yeah, I've been kind of hoping to see someone play the west side of the map at some point, but just hasn't really been happening at all. Yeah, I feel like uh, people think that, uh, like, uh, when, for example, they play Team 1, they think that, like, this area is really good for trading, which is why they kind of, like, hang around there. It's really safe, that's for sure. But, uh, I think, what well, this, 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 over this, also, of course, like, this area. I try. I guess the main question would be, why would you rather go over here than stay in this area well you can send like a guy here but uh if someone's here i feel like he shouldn't be alone and you then if you play radio in this new canyon then i feel like you must have some west side presence because radio is quite easy to push from the west side yes yeah, so for instance i think dps probably could have sent one of the grasshoppers there if they wanted to, because they had their light pack moving up to the north from the west side. Oh, they're starting three three five tons from the forty two, by the way. Also before I swap this gonna things on the sheet. They might not update in time. So... Yeah, I think that sides are wrong maps. Let's try to keep refreshing this uh, scene before it starts working. There we go. Now, now they're all right. Excellent. Grand Dragon. Yeah, I'm sipping. Yeah, you know that like that uh, Grand, like the Dragon One G S. You know what that S stands for? Yeah, yeah, it's for sip. 
But for the Warhammer, it doesn't stand for ship because the, I, don't, I don't like the Warhammer. That's, it, that's just me. But anyway, there was some Grand Dragon plus medium poles on DPS side. Commando 3A. I think I've like never seen that in comp. Uh, I'll go back to it in a second to see what it has. Just the three large poles. Oh, cool. Wolverine, Mermi Milkers, Catapult with the Mermi Milkers, Catapult with the Mermi Milkers. And the IV4 with the Mermi Milkers. Lumi Merm, simple ass. Oh, we got the classic commando here. Except that no flamers, it's small lasers again. Last time I said commando, it wasn't flamers. Oh, anyway, where's the commando from the red team? Oh, it's like, uh, it's like uh, <laughs> the 1D, but instead of two smalls, it's one small pulse. I think it has better quirks. Like offensive course, that's why they bring it. But I feel like also it puts one missile on the arm. Yes, it does. No, oh, wait a minute. Does it? It's hard to see. It's going too fast. Well, someone can check and confirm this in chat or something like that. Anyway, oh, some middle pre presence here. Okay, no, no east side play gameplay this time. DPS is going really aggro with the medium pulse spam. Here we go. Fight's happening. Medium pulse versus mermaids. Let's go. Mermaid milkers. Fight is 86% already. Merm bros. We need some... They, they need some good merm burns here. Like, uh, they missed a couple of their first shots. But level's getting pretty damaged. 75%. But, uh, Awesome guys. 56%. Awesome guys is dead. Let's Decent. go, merms. Mermies. Let's go, mermies. Complete cluster. Titus leg. Titus leg. Titus dead. Leg. Titus almost dead. Shade's dead. Oh, rip, there goes the large poles and Mermi Milkers catapults. One more Mermi Milker catapult alive. Awesome guys died really fast though, but they got it back. Lady Wolf dead. There we go. It's even now. It's actually even. Let's go. Even game. Let's go. Let's go. Her Herod and Pylas taking both extreme damage. I think Herod might die first. Actually, no. He didn't die first, but well, second later. There we go. 3v3. 2v3. It's uh, the Commando and the Mermi Wolverine left. Yeah. Wolverine is gonna get legged, and I don't think the Commando can do anything in time to make this even. Yeah, Quick Try is really fresh, so. Yeah. Oh. Oof. This could be huge. Uh, nice. Flynn, Flynn got. Oh, but Flynn's legged. Uh, yeah. Ah. Ouch. There he goes. That was a quick So one. that was. Yeah, that was different. Just go <laughs> yeah. west side push and a complete cluster. Yeah, it, it, it was really even until like I feel like when it became three v three. One, I I didn't catch who it was that died. I think it was the second uh, Mermi Milker catapult that died, but uh, he died like much earlier than like the fourth death from DPS side. I think the order of death was like dragon. Warhammer, Warhammer, and then some Warhammer, but like whatever one of these Warhammers, whoever it was, like died like 15 seconds later after like uh, uh, 42 lost like their second catapult. So it was, yeah, like, I didn't see it was 2v3 for too long. That, that, so that, that's what cost them the game. Did that, uh, that Grand Dragon get legged? Uh, I think so. I think it like they just like mega burned his legs, and also I'm gonna invite Texan back. Oh, because I'm back. Yeah, from yeah, a... yeah. Except you can go back watching TV. Back to the pit. Texan, and I think it's uh, Polar. Sir, the highest drop tons. And also, yes, I swapped in the this uh, oh, shit. What do you call it? Jesus. But anyway, this time it wasn't wasn't east side gameplay. It was DPS team two decided to do mega NSR from the middle. Team one went from this route into radio and the. Whole fight happened here. It never like strayed away from it, and then they just like blastered each other. Basically. Guess we see what happens when both teams go west side. And also, 
uh, well, people, uh, one point I want to bring out is that, like, people, whenever they see merms, they're like, oh, sand blasters, ah, oh, they, they're, they're gonna lose, but this time, like, uh, I feel like they had a really good chance, but it's just, like, uh, something happened, like, in the middle of the brawl, and they lost the lead. Well, well, it was, like, DPS leading, then, like, uh, 42 leading, DPS leading, 42 leading, and then finally DPS leading, and then that's the brawl. Yeah, like, I guess from there it just comes down to, like, how good of, uh, Merm burns people are hitting. Yeah, uh, they missed a couple burns at the start, uh, but then they, like, for example, the dragon got, like, Thanos snapped. As soon as <laughs> they, like, decided to shoot the legs. <laughs> and that's one of the tankier mechs you'll see. Yeah. That's like, well, that was the, like, the tankiest mech on DPS side and got Thanos snapped by Merms on legs. But, uh... Yeah, like the deciding point was the point when it was three versus three. Uh, it's pretty even, but then like uh, forty-two loses the final catapult really quickly to something. I think it's like leg, and then like the other leg gets burned like in two seconds. And uh, while the DPS side dudes still have like a uh, fairly fresh armor, so then like it's two mechs fighting three mechs. And that quick draw basically got to free farm all game long. Yeah. Anyway, anyway, let me check. Just typing. Uh, team one, what? Yeah. Uh, just gonna point, show the map. Yeah, they're readying up really quickly, so it's just gonna show the next map. This is the big drop. I'm gonna quickly uh, just say when they're like all locked. I'll just draw like trade spots. Or I believe they're both locked. Okay. Let's go. Gonna start and gonna quickly draw the trade spots for reds and blues. Uh, just pointing it out like up here at the gamma point, like. I feel like both teams can utilize that spot. Then you have the uh, the Kappa Hill, which is usually you see uh, Team 1 rushing to that if they want to bring long range trade. Yes, yes, yes. By the way, loading into the game. Brain boys. Boys and girls. Whoever's watching. Yeah, we go. What do we have? What do we have? Stalker Bros. Stalker Bros. Wow, I love Annihilators in an Annihilator. That's so original. Is that just uh, your large one? Uh, let me see. It seems to be your large. Here, your large. Awesome guys, Battlemaster, your large. Stalker, your large. Your large. I could probably click the wolf, I'm gonna guess one of them as your large. Or like large laser. Impulse. Okay, they are not men, men of taste. And from uh, 42 side, we have a couple mixed year large year meds on like the Grasshopper and the Stalker, three year P Thunderbolt, and then a five year large Battlemaster and a six year large Battlemaster. Oh, hey, that's a prison Battlemaster. Let's go. Kind of funny build on the 7D Stalker on 42 side. <laughs> Uh, well, I, I guess, like, when they get into, like, medium-range fighting, that thing has a lot of cooling. Since it's not, like, going all-in on your large, it's bringing them your medium right there. DPS beast. Yes, indeed, just want to put him as mid-range and just have the option do scratch damage. Plin yeah. having Theta, but quickly getting chased away. Didn't even get to flip it on his side, but, well, only 2% damage, so it was a good... Good to try, at least. While the double Vulcan is grabbing this. Go point here. Go. I wonder if the Vulcans can do enough on the map to make it worth taking them over another year large mech. Well, actually, let's, uh... MBLs, they might be able to still grab Gamma. Yeah, let's look to making a beeline for Gamma. Red team is. At least their traders are. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh... That's what has to be pointed out. Uh, 42 is 5 traders, 1 light, against uh, DPS, 
four traders, two lights. So the cap advantage naturally goes to DPS in this case because they can just flip faster. And I feel like the like either of the Vulcans will beat this commando in one v one, especially since it doesn't have a flamer. If it had a flamer, I feel like uh, well it could make at least the Vulcans run away. Like if it's a one v one. Well, blue lasers on the command here. Yeah, no, no, way no, no big actually. scratches, but cap denied. That's that's the big deal here. I think probably what you're going to see from DPS here is chucking all their traders on the hill and then trying to use the Vulcans to defend their position. Or get picks on the commando and then they can control the map. Yep, yep, yep. 42 side though. Uh, double Battlemaster and the Stalker. That's three quite strong mechs for trading. Except that Stalker is like a, a little anemic on long range trade build. But it has to get closer in that case against the uh, DPS Annihilator excellent like uh, trading Thunderball item. being traded by three max at once ouch seen that coming 84% yeah. left or almost a yeah but uh, the PPCs are on the other side thank god looks like he opted for the three ERP Thunderbolt deck and Alpha instead of the one with jump jets Oh, I didn't even know there's one that jumps with your PPC, okay. Like, I've never seen that back played. Yeah, I played it last week, or two weeks ago. Yeah, but you are you. I am me. Good point. <laughs> <laughs> Raid spots have been acquired. And the Vulcans start and get traded. Oh, you have to see, because if they burn off these Vulcans too much, then that'll really remove their ability to do anything in the later phase of the game, oh. which is kind of the... Uh, Point of their strat. And we saw this happen a little like uh or did we? I think we did, like last week when I casted RGF against CXF. It was like decide the game was pretty much decided on like whose lights took too much damage. And uh, well, that's the been same a bit thing of a theme here. here. Like we saw earlier, we had uh, lights on 42 side taking massive amounts of damage before they even got to shoot. Come on. Oh. <laughs> that, I was looking at Shaman's like a orange on the numbers. Like what happened to him? But then I see, ah, just overheating. <laughs> Let's go. He's pumping. He's pumping, boys. <laughs> That's right, Tosos. That <laughs> right turn is really low. That's like 40 health left or something like that. It's already like orange structure too. Orange armor. Oi, 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 oi. Mitsu, 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 Mitsu. Big hits on it. I don't know why these Vulcans are trying to get to the left side. Their Overwatch can just cover them from the center or right. Yeah, Mitsu, both legs, red armor. That's not good. It's like, like 40 health, 35 health left to being legged. Okay, let's go. Herod's going closer, as he should be with this mixed build. But there's UAV. The UAV uh, they, got the it. they got it. They got the UAV, and it might not have seen the stalker yet. Yeah, seen like a, like since Herod was in the canyon, might not have seen him. Let's see. If, oh, uh, the stalker's gonna get. Coming. Yeah, they definitely didn't see him because they're still like here, standing really close to the stalker. They didn't see him. Levels even going like even closer. Here we go. Here we go. We are gonna see some action. Hopefully, let's go. There's no trade sites on this blue stalker right now. So, well, if he had map hack, if he had cheats, he he could just like know that the situation is this and go but of course he doesn't have cheats so oh the battle master is about to get it. pushed maybe by the two vulcans yes but this is kind of uh, well well the battle master is going to get shot but i feel like this is something that might backfire on them unless they kill him they didn't kill him because stalkers stalker sees them going for help oh a little, a little, little slow okay. reaction here. He was just sandwiched in there, yeah. Yeah, a little slow reaction from the stalker. Didn't get to punish, but if like uh, they reacted like immediately, as soon as that happened, like at least one of these Vulcans would have lost their lives. Instead, now it was a pick off. 
Okay. And they did know the Vulcans were there because the commando saw them in that alleyway, so. Oh, they're both the Oh, Amarok Grasshopper is uh, Orange Structure CT. Raids haven't been going too well for me. Oh, oh, also, DPS Stalker is 97% still. So, I think it's safe to say that 42 cannot win with trades anymore. <laughs> because there's so much fresh stuff on the other side. Battlemaster, Grasshopper, 90%, 86% also. Not looking too good, boys. These Vulcans have just been tying up half of... Uh... I have a 42 over here for the entire match, so yeah. they haven't really been able to shoot at the traders on DPS side. Yeah, but uh, uh, I don't think the Vulcans are invincible, though. Like, uh, no, they've been burning armor if, to do if, that. If, yeah, if they were punished, for example, like on that Battlemaster pickoff, this will be a different story. 10% the... off the Vulcan? Stalker probably could have positioned a lot more aggressively, but he's going to get pushed. Gage, how? Gage probably going to die now. I think the Grasshopper... Almost season. Trying to get sights. Sights here. Peaks. Seize. Burn. Ah. Nothing blocked the shot. Oh, I so love Annihilator's got a back shot. Got back shot there, but. It looks like he like, barely cares about <laughs> that 5 yard large alpha. One more. One more, and it's over. Um, oh no 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 no! Plain kills level. Something's happening. Well, let's look at the annihilator first. Like what's gonna happen here? Amarok dead. Okay, well, I think his, his commando and the Vulcan are basically having a now it's a two v one versus the commando. Uh, there's some stalker versus stalker action, except that the other stalker is losing hard. Well, yeah, stalker, no, they pushed the. Uh, they pushed stalker the has like a. Uh, Single side torso left, and he's not shooting yet. They Hello, push the rockers straight into Oh, Flynn Herod. killed the other Vulcan. Now, 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 like, Herod just has to survive. Just deal with the dead, dead side. Let's go. Need some communication here, though. Like, every time, like, Flynn attacks, he should say that, okay, Stalker's looking at me, and then Herod should be able to peek. There we go. One more back shot oh, on the Stalker. Herod's, Herod's dead. dead. Herod's dead. Okay. Uh, Chris Pros, maybe? Uh, I don't know, maybe it was just like mega cooking. I don't think that... I don't think he even has to use uh, LFE in that build. Oh, it's just the commando. Doing your killing quietly. Select the... Oh. Whatever this is called. Oh, read out. Now it's just Flynn versus the world. <laughs> Run! <laughs> Both legs open, yeah, Commando Bros. Uh, it's not looking too good right now. There's even a fresh, fairly fresh Grasshopper. It's probably not too fresh, but it's uh, too fresh for this guy. Let's see. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Let's see, Commando Clutch. Let's go, we've seen this before. I this could be huge. Yeah, yeah. Big if true. Just unleash the magic hitbox. And unleash the Vorpal hitboxes. Yes, the voice. Commander on the interception course with the grasshopper. Oh, the grasshopper does yep. it. Yep, he's got none. Attack. Let's go. And I feel like the commando will not have enough ammo to kill all four of them. Oh, he's like, bro. Oh, there he goes. No mercy, no mercy. He sees that this guy's leg. It's time to unleash the plasma destroyer. GG. See who mega farmed. Violence in the stalker. Like, like, that, that's yes. funny because he was also no like, damage. So, was so fresh all game, and he's like farming the most at the same time. Let's go. Well played. Well played from him. In the stalker, the mid range stalker wasn't a bad idea, but they should have probably been more aggressive with it. Yeah, and also like that moment when. Should have just sent him to actually push the Vulcans with the help. The commando. That's Mepstrat throws. 
Uh, I don't even rem if it was a long game. I don't exactly remember spots anymore. But I feel like blues were like playing this side, and then they said the stalker here with the battlemaster, like that. And reds played like, yeah. around here, both sides. I I think even someone even lurked over here at hotel seven, straight into i eight. Yeah, initially they were in like G11, G10 up onto the Gamma Hill up top there. And then they had the Vulcans pushed up really quite far early on. Here we go. Stalker Battlemaster and I think there was so far we need. Here we go. And red double Vulcan let's mark Centurions because Vulcan icon doesn't exist. So they like the key moment this game. Let's have a uh, I just need to do swaps. I think I. There we go. Right now. But anyway, uh, the key moment was the Battlemaster pick off. And I feel like even though he got destroyed, uh, the ball was still like. Would have been controlled by 42 right there if they just reacted fast enough because the Vulcans were like hurt and one of them was like almost open legs both. So just instant reaction. Also, they the Reds did actually not have any sites with traders over there. So if they had an instant reaction, even better if they had like a commando spot. But it was just yeah. unlucky that he was like uh, somewhere else at the moment. They will have seen that happen, like with like like this center in bam bam dead and then collapse goodbye. It looked yes. like they took a, like a good minute or two to get the stalker, help the Vulcans get down from the hill, and start uh help, helping them to push the other stalker. Yeah, but like that was the key point: the battlemaster death without being punished. If if there was a punish. Like that was gonna happen, like against DPS and uh, worst case scenario, losing two Vulcans. That would have meant that uh, forty two to could have collapsed on the enemy because there's like a fairly fresh commando still on the field that's gonna lock down one mech. Send it on, for example, like that fresh stalker. But that didn't happen. Battlemaster dead, and instead is two suckers still alive, and then it's just like. Slow fighting afterwards, DPS wearing down rest of the 42 force. And the last game of the set incoming. I wonder if we'll see the same strat from DPS. Uh, you mean trade? Probably. Still like using full time, so probably. Yes, yes. But no more Vulcans for DPS. This time the, they will have to bring something else. I think fire I mean, starters are yeah. also used for that small pulse drop first. They might have Phoenix. Them. I'm more curious if they're still going to go with uh, oh, they're ready. four yeah. traders and two pseudo lights or if they're going to go five traders this time around. Let's go. Let's go, sirs. Last drop. Four drops one for DPS, but I feel like at least two of them have been fairly close. Don't read into that too much. Say like the Merm versus Medium Pulse Canyon was very close, and uh, the last drop could have gone either way. Like uh, when that Battlemaster moment happened, like the outcome was different, a uh, slightly different. Or the two could have taken the drop. And here we are waiting for my mats to fly in. Hellspawn, honey! <laughs> honey, it's time to get into the Hellspawn! The clown spawn. We, we get to see some crab. Oh, not many, like, mean crab drops in this ISC. What a shame, because that's like a tradition by now. Light machine gun ERPPC Griffin. That's like almost heresy right here. One crab, Hellspawn though. Love me Hellspawn, simple ass. Ah, uh, uh, loyalty, Griffin. I, I did like that Hellspawn though. 
Oh, he's hey, base. So we have a repeat of the same strat on 42 side with a couple ER large ER meds builds with the ER larges. It looks like DPS is repeating their same strat too, taking four traders and then two MPL mechs. Stalker 5S this time, so it's gonna be full ER large. Mark's gonna bring ER large, ER medium grasshopper. Aired ER large stalker. They, they really like the mixed medium blazers, ER larges, but this means that they have to fight closer. Otherwise, they are weaker to your position. It looks like DPS is actually just beelining it straight for that Gamma Hill again. Oh yeah, it's fairly strong. It's the highest point on the map. I do wonder if uh, 42 is going to try and contest him at all for it this time around. Doesn't look like they're setting up no. to fight for it, so... Instead, going to go grab that Gamma quickly. Perhaps pretending to be a pseudo life. My man, my man. My man in the crab. Did he see? Awesome guys did a big jump with the Gryphon. Saw anything? Scouting. This build feels so weird. My machine got froze. <laughs> Oh, Blin's on there. Kamado's just poking from the top, the mountain. <laughs> Blin's on there, like the narrow. Maybe he gets shot? Missed. Slight stretch, one person, no big deal. Scouted positions, saw that the blues are, in fact, walking towards the Gamma Hill once again. Swift World Scout, right there. Hope they just utilize this information and place their mix accordingly. Looks like the two pseudo lights kind of want to jump on the flank again, like last game. Well, the battle master's a little too far. Very nice, me, please. The other had the grasshoppers are getting. Welcome, good night. Smoke's gonna miss by a mile. Well, Thylas and Alpheus in the. Quite close to Amarok here. He does have those light machine guns though to defend himself with. Uh, I'm talking about the other side, but the awesome guys, 82%. What happened, bros? Did a commando attack? Yeah, commando jumped oh. on him. Oh. Good damage there, and the commando looked like no damage. Well played, well played. Both of this. I don't think Amarok knows that the lights are there, and I don't think the lights know that Amarok's there. But well, they should know now. Uh, They're just walking yeah, okay. open. Okay. If, if they get spotted now, they, it, it, it's gonna be way too cocky. Amarok bros! Oh, no, oh no, no, yeah. No, no, not, not like this! Not again! Is he gonna get oh, shot again? Oh, okay. Let's there see we if go. the oh, commander yeah. can pick them up. Uh, this could be this could be oh, huge, okay yeah. they know they know they yeah. know let's they're go aware, they're aware. let's go stalker battle master don't, don't look at each other go fight go 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 oh the crab is getting shot from three max lynn bros go fight please commando attack commando please amarok just getting completely sold out this dude should like Press forward. Oh, okay, they are actually. But, like, if they would have stayed, like, then the lights could just escape. Okay, well, uh, it, it looks grim, but kind of isn't yet because, well, the crabs. Because they still can get two picks here. Yeah, yeah, two picks incoming. Bang, bang, bang. Uh, DPS, did they get too cocky here, perhaps? Uh, I think the hell spawn gets out of here. I think he's gonna escape there, not shooting legs. Yeah. But the back armor is very low. The commando might finish this. The command. Well, well, okay, there's sights on commando now. He cannot really chase. Shades yeah, no, there's really a little bit cover in between everywhere. Camera backed up. A little too cocky right now with the stalker, but they didn't punish this. There was some free sights, blue side of the stalker, but they barely shot him. Oh. Also, 
Griffin 66%. Gonna go lower from this strike to... Red CT armor. Well, Master, strict CT. 69% health. DPS is good. They're closing in a little. Against the Annihilator. Yeah, I don't know if they have enough of an advantage to push across the open ground like this. I feel like what they're thinking right now is that since like that last engagement went so bad that they have to like do something instead of hiding behind cover, which is why they are advancing like this right now. Still waiting for the commando to get in there. He's pretty fresh. Uh, well, it's also fine, honestly, that they spare it. As long as it, uh, like, attacks when the happenings are happening, then then it's fine. It's two cap lead for 42 now. Commandos, commandos coming from behind. Killing a killing quiet lock. And now, if they want to do something with this commando, oh. the reds should start advancing. And the commando attacks. Well, the commando just scouted the wall blue team right here. Commando can still go in and like get one shot off and take a side or so off that hell spawn. He could kill it if he gets a good shot off. Yeah, yeah. yeah. A little crits and that's it. Hell spawn, I think it's like uh, that's like fifteen to twenty health it's rear right now. Battlemaster's killable, Hellspawn's killable, Griffin's almost killable. And he's, uh, like, uh, orange to red armor. Oh, and he's going in! Commando going in! There no. we go. No, no. Uh, okay, okay. Commando, oh, wait, 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 oh, he wait. just wanted to drop the strike. Oh, nice, not, nice strike, nice strike. Let's go. Big strike. Oh, uh, but PGI. Guy robs. Oh, actually, no. I kinda dodged it. <laughs> so, okay, that, that wasn't lucky, that was, that was a dodge. Looks like DPS is gonna okay, start now, the slow push. Now, Commando. Let's go, Commando. Now will be like the perfect time to attack. Commando, please. Prometheus almost held. But that's the left, left torso. He has, he's pretty right side stacked. Going in now. Here we go, here we go. Sorry for caster bias, but let's go 42 because, I mean, they haven't had a drop yet. This is the chance. I wonder who this commander goes for, though. Uh, if anyone. Yeah, please, please attack Mr. Commando! Go, go, go! go. Oh, he's taking Theta Cap. No, 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 Oh, they no, know no. he's there now, so. He's just passing through it. Yeah, yeah he's gonna get the Here we go, here we go. Here we go, here we go. Commando's gonna do the killing quiet like Oh! I love Annihilator, Scott. Annihilated. He was like the most fresh thing. Uh, Battlemaster, here we go. Gonna he just died commando. with blue lasers. Oh, nice. Let's go, Commando. Smells blood, smells blood. No more pushing oh, out. Spawn? Oh, it's time. Oh, here it's we go. Time. Lord Commando in the flesh. Oh, another one. More Massacre for my Blood, blood, blood. Blood, <laughs> blood for the blood gods. Let's go. Come on, come on, let's go. Well, more, again, more massacre, as, more massacre. Give the kill to the commander. Let's go, let's go. Saving that commando right until the end to just sweep them all up. <laughs> more kill commando, let's go. More massacre for my enjoyment. Ah, oh, Sorry, if that wasn't given to the commando. Uh, no, Mr. Kills. Uh, missed the ace right there. Almost an ace. Almost an ace. Oh, nice. Well, well my man's from the 42. Take this one. And you could see that, even though they were a little bit slow, they were still a lot faster than last time responding to the uh, two MPL mechs that just ran into their entire team. Was, honestly, well, 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 at the at the end, like when hesitating to attack, that was kind of cringing me out. But like the start, when well, which I missed with my camera, but when the commando did some really good damage on the Griffin. Uh, that was good.
Good play, good play. Best commandari. Yes, yes. And there was the, the killing quiet like. So, GG's, GG's. That's four wins for DPS and one win for 42. Well, technically you can say that DPS won the set, but this tournament isn't about sets. It's about how many drops you win. Each drop gives your team 1000 MC, so this means 4000 MC for DPS and 1000 MC for 42. So both teams walk away with something. The other team just walks with more, but whatever. Herod, 717 damage and uh, Shade in 644. Excellent trade play from the Stalkers on 42 side and Commando 471 damage. That's really high damage for a Commando. Yeah, just crushing it, man. I wonder um, how much of that was versus that Griffin, though, at the start. Yeah, Amarok got destroyed once again, but uh, that wasn't like. That wasn't uh, like. Uh, they didn't like uh, leave that uh, loss unpunished this time. So, from point of view, a certain point of view, it was good that Amarok got sold again. <laughs> because then, like, the DPS lights got mega owned. After well, that. he was in a really bad spot because the crab was up in his nuts, and as soon as he backed up past that rock, he just got shot uh, up by he, all the ear uh, guys. He, he kind of got sold, in my opinion, because like the uh, forty-two traders uh, were hesitating to close on the lights right there. I feel weird about calling that sold because it felt like the grasshopper also jumped into the pit after oh, the hell no. spot. <laughs> well, well, I, what, what, what you gonna do when you're like under the bloodlust? Yeah, the no, for sure they could have been a lot more aggressive about it. I'm not sure if they were worried that they were gonna get punished hard for trying to push out onto that platform to help him, but well, you know, with the nitpicks, uh, that one, uh, that drop was won by 42. Good job, and good job to DPS for winning the first four drops. Let's go. Good showing, especially I feel like the absolute first drop, DPS destroying, uh, 42, uh, some. Uh, questionable positioning considering like their optimal range, like uh, they're playing medium poles against small poles, or even like PPC LBX against small poles, and they're going into their optimal range. But hopefully they learn from this, and uh, they can like uh, that deck okay as long as you it it's just harder to play than small poles. So if you make like positioning mistakes, you will die against small. But GG's everyone, that's it. That was there. Anything else to it, really? Right now, uh... Come play UA, it looks good. <laughs> no, 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 no. Uh, let me check, uh, schedule. That's just... Okay, well, for... When it comes to casting, so far it looks pretty... Empty. I might do that. Euro Dragoons against Pi on Sunday. I might do it because next week I have free time. But as far as more casts are concerned, uh, today I don't think there's not going to be any more casts. Uh, I think. Junto is in dropship one with someone for casting a game. I'm doing a scrim. Ah, okay. Uh, well, anyway. I, I think no more casts today. Tomorrow. Uh, this is 3.15 a.m. UTC. Or it yesterday it's 10.15 p.m. We got the graded Sky Rangers against 2D20. I'll be casting that one. So, if you are interested in this game, I I think it's uh, approximately in 23 hours from now. And you can, of course, check the schedules from the ISC web website, and you can see if the games are going to be casted. But that's going to be the next one, and uh, then we're going to have... Well, if I do the Sunday one, then that's going to be one more. Also, on Sunday, there's going to be... Sunday... Euro night or 
like evening for Americans. There's gonna be CDU against Paxper Bellum. That's gonna be casted by Mr. Ghost, the ultimate ghost. Ah. That's 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 that then. Nothing else to say really. Sirs, do you have anything to say? GG. Oh, oh yeah, well uh, maybe I hope everyone keeps on joining their new ISC month. Wait a minute. Maybe could like quickly go through. I completely forgot. I started like talking with this stuff since I I realized that uh, map strats. We didn't do the map strats. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. It was, it, it was some kind of, there was kind of interesting stuff happening. I uh, which one was blue side? Uh, uh was DPS was blue, I believe. Oh, okay, DPS was blue. So I'm wait here. Well, if it's the wrong side, it doesn't. And uh, the trade right there. Commando did the uh, funny stuff over here at north. Funny stuff. Good, good shot with the Griffin there. DPS sends two lights here. Attack the Grasshopper right there. But then it's a one to one trade. Uh, the survivor, Hellspawn, has to retreat. But very open <laughs> back, <laughs> like his orange structure everywhere, barely escaped. And uh, while all this was happening, DPS was losing trades against 42's trades. 42 stalkers doing excellent job with the trades there. And then eventually, slowly, but it did happen, the collapse happened and that's it. 42 took the drop. Yes, my man's, but anyway, okay, well, that's explained. <laughs> so I guess this is it then. Yes, sir. Yes. Yes. Uh, boys and girls over there at home, uh, GG's, thanks for watching. I'm gonna go away now. I'll see you tomorrow if you're gonna join once again. See you later. See you later.